I don't know why it keeps happening. Episode 10. But before we begin, we need to address something, something very serious. It isn't planned, but we just keep wearing the same clothes. Fight is an environmental series showcasing poems and songs that celebrate the beauty of the natural world. These have been sent in by creatives at all levels, from professionals to newcomers and perhaps even your neighbour next door. It's now time to watch through your entries and let you vote for the first ever Fight Awards winners. The most popular poet and musician will each win a £500 prize and the same amount will go to an environmental charity of their choice. Head to the Homestage website to vote now. This is Seasons by Philomena McKendry. Red, gold and green. A magic carpet in the trees. Soon it will fly down, leaving the skeletons of winter. Hygge. Comfort and warmth beckon a treasured companion by your side. As we move into the dark, bleak winter with its lights and fires. Again, the magic carpet will rise up, green, young and growing, and the trees will heal us, ready for summer's demands. So I like this because it's a celebration of the seasons. Mm -hmm. It's an optimistic poem and the line, the magic carpet will rise up. That's like sort of, I picture it as the green carpet of the forest floor and how all of that and the powers in the forest will rise up and heal us, as she says, the trees will heal us. Um, and it leaves you feeling just sort of, that when she mentions hygge, the idea of that warmth and comfort and safety, that's how you okay. feel. What is hygge? Isn't it like, um, I'm not sure what country it originates from, but it's that idea of... Like Scandinavian hygge. Yeah, it's somewhere... I, I'm not going to be able to explain it. It's like, I've heard a lot about it in the past few years and it it often is sort of like going along with... I literally can't describe it, but this is going to have to be one of the moments Mark's where Mark moment. jumps in. Huga is... So, Huga is a word in Danish and Norwegian that describes a mood of coziness and comfortable conviviality with feelings of wellness and contentment. So Flory was spot on. I love the imagery of when it says the magic carpet rises up in terms of going from winter into summer. Mm. Um, because it's obviously when, when you get autumn and you get into winter, the, the leaves literally drop down. And then it seems like they are literally magical and the entire load of leaves, they don't grow back, they just go whoosh, yeah. back onto the trees. Mm. And it, it just makes like a really nice sort of imagery, symmetry yeah. from the seasons. I yeah. love that. But also she ends it by saying ready for summer's demands. And there is a sense of like, there are demands, there are obligations to each season. And although you'll see summer as the season where things are like easy, it's mm. warm and relaxed. There's also, it comes with its own things. Like if you're growing fruit and veg, it comes with its own like obligations, things yeah. you have to do. So it's like, there's still, there's obligations for each season and ways that you need to treat the earth and look after the earth. Mm. But um, I like this a lot. It's a really lovely poem. So we are here in the heart of the west end of London. Um, if you look around, you can see there is a lot going on. And yet, if you follow me down one of these roads, you will find a very nice little nature haven um, right in the middle of all this business. So come with me. Amid all of this, we have this complete wild garden. Now, I would not be surprised if this is just collecting rainwater that they'll use to then water all the other plants. The mound is under construction. They're making this into an educational space. What a pond area. I love the look of branches that have just left, been left to do what they want to do. And although this is sort of cultivated in some ways, it's really just left to do its own thing. I've just found some information about the garden. So it says that the Phoenix Garden is not a public park, but it's managed um, privately by volunteers and it is a registered charity and it is actually the last of the Covent Garden community gardens so it was created by local residents um, and apparently this was actually originally a car park and a former bomb site and it opened in 1984. They also say it's an essential place for encouraging urban wildlife. Planting is a blend of native and ornamental plants chosen to be drought tolerant, reliable and attractive throughout the year the garden is maintained using sustainable methods. So it is a low water use garden. So that will be what that is for, as I did say. I was right. Um, 
and all green waste is recycled on site. There is no pesticides, there are no artificial fertilizers or weed killers at all. Um, and this is just because they want to encourage wildlife, they want to encourage things to live and grow here naturally and organically. Green Witch by Tim Deer Jones. She came and she set a green flame Little lights up the hedges and hills And she drives away darkness and coldness and pain And all of the bleak winter's hills For with her open hand, well, she blesses the land and brings the warmth back to the earth And with her open hand, well, she graces the land And kickstarts the cycle of birth Ha-la-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-